Animatrix Polisher for Maya is a new little plugin that just came out recently from Animatrix Studio. And it is all about giving you as a Maya animator more control to polish your animations, quite literally by sculpting meshes on a per frame basis. Think of it like molding digital clay frame by frame on top of your existing animation. So instead of going back to your rig or dealing with complex corrective shapes, you can grab the mesh and sculpt fixes or exaggerations directly at specific keyframes. It is a simple concept, but it has big implications. So you will get complete control over the shape and silhouette at every moment of the animation, which is cool. So what can you do with this animatrix polisher? For example, you can smooth out or refine an elbow intersection that the rig skinning didn't handle well, or just a character's facial expression geometry on a particular frame for a nice arc. It is also great for adding those fun, stylized touches, like creating exaggerated smear frames or stretching limbs in a cartoonish way, which the base rig would it normally allow. Essentially, it lets you go beyond the rig. If the rig's deformation aren't giving you those poses that you want, you can just sculpt it in. Also, any unwanted mesh collisions or penetrations, take a hand going through a torso in a fast motion. This can be manually fixed by sculpting the geometry at that frame. And the workflow sounds pretty straightforward. According to the developers, you pick your mesh, hit the new blend shape button in the polisher UI, and enter the sculpt mode. While in the sculpt mode, any tweaks you do in the mesh are recorded as a shape key on that frame. When you exit sculpt mode, those changes are saved as a blend shape key at that frame. Under the hood, it is creating blend shape nodes for each correction, which means it is non-destructive, so you are not permanently altering the base animation or rig geometry. You can also create multiple blend shape tracks, one for the arms, one for the face, etc., to keep things organized. And because they are blend shapes, you have tangent handles to adjust how the corrections is in and out, giving you file control over the timing of the polish fixes. There's no complicated setup, you just install it. So you as an animator, you can just start sculpting on your animation. Because it is using standard Maya blend shape nodes, it should play nicely with existing scenes and not break anything. And the fact that it is non-destructive means you can always disable or remove the polish if needed. It kind of lets you as an animator be a bit more like a modeler or rigger at the tail of the end of the animation without actually requiring those departments to step in. And there you have it guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more news like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.